where Jake Ryle joins us now. Uh, Jake, listen, obviously mixed emotions. Uh, you know, a big win for the Bengals, packed house. But regardless of whether you're a Bengals fan, Dolphins fan, whatever, nobody wants to see an injury like what we saw tonight to Tua Tungavailoa. Jake, what are fans saying to you out there tonight? You know, I, I think the best way to put it is a win is a win, right? But a lot of these fans think that this win comes with a bittersweet note. You know, we've been watching them pouring out of the stadium for the past 20 or so minutes. Now they're flocking to the Banks area. Many of them celebrating, but once again, bittersweet. They are worried about that Dolphins quarterback. Bengals fans tell me Paycor Stadium was the loudest that they've ever heard it. It was a primetime game, a whiteout. But the dynamic of tonight really changed with one big hit, and the stadium fell silent. It was loud at first, and then when everyone realized he wasn't moving, it got uh, real quiet. It went from super loud to super quiet. There was some two a chance that even broke out. Um, so that was cool, and I think everyone kind of realized it was serious when, um, as soon as it happened, our uh, Bengals medical staff rushed off the, off the sideline first. So. Dolphins fans and Bengals fans, uh, once they got him on the back plate, and then got him on a stretcher, everybody started actually chanting to his name. I witnessed someone get hit like that before, um, and. I just cringe because when your like hands kind of go up like that, it's a brain injury. So most definitely we need to pray for him, most definitely. Uh, two opposing teams, two different fan bases inside the stadium and outside the stadium. They were really there to support. In fact, you know, you could really say it was lights out for the Bengals offense and defense today. But, you know, they were just excited to be able to have the chance uh, to come together and uh, really rally around Tua as he was taken to UC Medical Center. We're hoping to get more updates on him as soon as we can. Caleb.